Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Jankover. So in yesterday's video, we have seen that how we can create forms and fetch the data from the contact us form and we can store it in our database. And we have also seen that how we can access individual field using form attribute and our, our model attribute. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to see that how we can pass classes to these fields and decorate it. Okay. So here for that we have widgets in forms. So I will write widgets widgets is equals to and widgets takes dictionary. So I'll write dictionary and let's first design to first underscore name to see classes of uh, the input fields. I will go to bootstrap.com get bootstrap.com and i will get, click on get started go to forms input groups and i will just see classes of the input fields so it's form control okay so here we will go to vs code and i will write first underscore name so is equals to sorry we will not do is equals to because it's dictionary so we will give key and value pair so like this and then we have character field then we need to take text input so form dot text input and then we will give attributes so at and here attribute attributes take one another dictionary which will be our class and the class which we need to provide and in our case it will be form control like this so i'll copy it and you can paste it over here come here and refresh you can see we have got the class same way we can pass placeholder also so i will write placeholder and i will give enter your first name save come over here refresh you can see we got uh, we got the placeholder so it's f i r s t right now same way we need to do for other elements okay so make comma at the end and we will do same thing for last name so i will replicate this line Control D. I'll put last name over here. Then we have email field. So E underscore mail. Then we will access forms dot forms dot email field. So I'll give email input. Then here we will view attribute and i will copy this and paste it over here and i will change first to last last and here i will change first name to email save it come over here refresh and so far so good now we will go for phone numbers sorry phone number so phone phone underscore number colon forms dot integer input so number input sorry number input and here we will give attribute and class are going to be same so i will copy this and paste it i will say enter your phone number save come over here refresh then we have text area or message area so here i will write contact underscore message then 
it's going to be forms dot text area and here we will do attributes all this going to be same control v we need to give comma here we forgot it save this still it is giving me error i don't know why comma forms dot text area come over and just refresh okay we forgot to end the dictionary so curly bracket save it our server has reloaded id toggle terminal and refresh you can see we have got our message panel also we need to change the placeholder so we will write enter your message save it go to contact form and here i will copy this label and i will paste it above contact underscore message and here i will write your message save and come over here and refresh you can see we have got perfect design of our form as we were having before so here let's enter some data so here i will write so here i will write kevin patel kevin at the rate kevin.com then we have a phone number then i will write hello hello sorry no don't save hit on submit i think we should get the data in our backend so i will go to get bootstrap sorry <laughs> admin panel and i will go to contact and we can see our third object which is done by kevin patel so yeah this is the widgets in Jen uh, Django forms so in next video we are going to see messages if anyone submits the form then we need to say send him a message that your contact has your contact form has been submitted successfully so that we will going to do in next video thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you in next one thank you